It was the fourth time the Legacy Fighting Alliance made a stop in the Mount Rushmore State, South Dakota. LFA 64 going down from inside the Pentagon Arena. Hey, Fight Fans, Ron Kruk, joined as always by the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich, and what a great night of fights here at LFA 64. We begin with a catch weight of 165 pounds. Jordan Larson and Bobby Lee. Larson, the South Dakota product, taking on Bobby Lee, who took this fight on only two weeks' notice, Pat. Yeah, good on him, and you know what? Didn't have to cut all the way down to 55. Good for him also, but... We had a feeling two wrestlers were going to come out and slug it out, and that's pretty much what they did. They got after it on their feet, and Bobby Lee did an exceptional job. His striking has improved greatly, but eventually gets it to the ground, locks that figure four on the body, and finishes with that rear choke. Bobby Lee improves his record to 10-3 and three with the submission victory. Another catch weight in the co-main event. Scott Fertrell took this fight on only four days' notice against the top prospect, Jason Jackson. Jason Jackson was supremely confident coming into this and didn't feel that Fertrell had a whole lot to offer him, certainly not in the wrestling department, and that proved to be true as Jackson was able to get takedowns at will. Fertrell, although ended up getting beat in this fight, did a good job on many occasions landing great strikes, and it also helped Jackson improve his wrestling because he's known as a striker, so... Good on him. Jackson said he wanted to show a little bit of everything from his arsenal tonight, Pat, and he really did. Getting the submission victory in the second round, a successful debut for Jason Jackson. Yep. The LFA, a lightweight title on the line. Harvey Park and Dean Marquez Jackson Park, the New Mexico Sheriff's deputy. Huge opportunity against a very talented Jackson. Both these guys, really quality fighters. And DeMarco Jackson was doing a great job moving, sticking. Harvey Park just staying steady, landing those low kicks, the front kicks to the body, and then boom, short right hand lands. DeMarco Jackson stepping in post holes, and Harvey got a few seconds left, knows he's got to get it finished, goes to work, smells blood in the water, and gets the job done. A true buzzer beater, Harvey Park gets the win with only two seconds left in the round. He is your new LFA lightweight champion. The machine rolls on next week. LFA 65 MMA in the mountains going down in Vail, Colorado. Then we will make our debut in Salt Lake City for LFA 66. LFA 67 in Branson, Missouri, and then back to Prior Lake, Minnesota for LFA number 68.